Listen to the 48 Hours podcast for shocking murder cases and compelling real life dramas from one of television's most watched true crime shows. Go behind the scenes of each episode with award winning CBS News correspondents and producers in Post Mortem, a weekly deep dive. Listen to 48 Hours wherever you get your podcasts. Girl, real talk. This whole it's a new year, time to reinvent myself trash is not the vibe for 2024. You can find someone who loves you for you, as you are. You don't need to read a stack of self-help books, only eat sad salads, or like start meditating at 5 a.m. to be ready for dating. So yeah, my advice is to download Bumble and find someone who embraces you the way you are right now. Let me know how it goes. This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 2033, Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do, part one, by Angel Chernoff of markandangel.com. Hello, everybody, and thanks so much for stopping in today for another installment of Optimal Relationships Daily. I'm your host and narrator, Greg Audino, and we're going to be kicking off part one of a two-parter this time. I've got a longer post from Angel Chernoff of Mark and Angel covering some really important attributes of healthy couples. We're going to begin it today and finish tomorrow. There is a lot to get through. So let's start now with part one as we optimize your life. Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do, Part 1, by Angel Chernoff of MarkAndAngel.com. Love is not about how much you say I love you, but how much you prove that it's true. Healthy couples and lifelong fulfilling relationships do not just happen by accident. They are created consciously over time, through mindful, mutual effort and sacrifice. It starts with showing your partner affection today in a dozen little ways searching for small, consistent gestures that alone feel tiny but add up to a truly meaningful and personal relationship experience. It's about stringing the little wins of each day together to create a week, a month, a year, and then decades of shared joy. That's right. Lifelong health and happiness as a couple is built through daily devotion. Here's what my extensive experience coaching hundreds of married couples has told me about what healthy couples do differently. Number one, the commit to digging up the diamonds in the rough. It can sometimes be a daunting task to see the good in your partner when the days are long, the kids are screaming, and the bank account is looking barren. With the turbulence sent our way by everyday life, shining a spotlight on the things that drive us crazy about our partners can easily become an unconscious bad habit. But you must flip the switch on this. Instead of gawking at their faults, Make it a game to dig up all the things you love about them, especially in the moments that you're struggling with them. It's easy to love our partners when the sailing is smooth, but learning to love them when the waters get rough is where a truly unstoppable team is built. The next time you're frustrated, flip it around. Find two things in that moment that you love and appreciate about your partner. Number two, they sleep together with a smile. Quit keeping score before you crawl into bed. Everything doesn't have to be resolved, but anger does need to be pacified. In a recent study by the Journal of Neuroscience, scientists used some real-life science and data to debunk the age-old cliché that you must completely make up before bed. The bottom line is that an unresolved argument before bed is okay, so long as emotions are not raging and wild. However, Keep in mind that going to bed after harboring extreme negative emotions can reinforce them or preserve them. If you can't resolve an argument before bed, at the very least make it a point to turn over and tell your partner you love them before falling asleep. The simple shift in tension will be a great start in waking up ready to begin resolving the issue. Number three, they send micro messages of appreciation to each other. Between busy schedules and long days, Finding time to tell our partners how much we appreciate them can get unexpectedly lost in the busyness. But did you know that the happiest, healthiest couples talk at least five hours a week? You may not think you have an extra five hours just lying around to chat, but committed and caring partners always look for little ways to send tiny reminders of their appreciation on a consistent basis. A simple text message to remind them of your gratitude and love can go a long way. 
Try personalizing one of these awesome text message ideas to bring a smile to your partner's face today. I love you in the morning, in the middle of the day, in the hours we are together, and the hours we're apart, too. You've seen me at my best and my worst, yet you love me anyway. It's awesome to be your nickname slash husband slash wife. And please, let me know what I did to deserve you. I want to make sure I keep on doing it. I love you. Number four, they are constantly in touch with one another. Whether it's a gentle caress on the face as they pass each other in the kitchen, or a playful pat on the backside, healthy couples carve out time to enjoy physical intimacy with each other. You can follow their lead. Hold hands no matter how long you've been together or where you are. Sit close on the couch as you cuddle. Squeeze in on the same side of the booth at a restaurant for added connection and touch. Make it a priority to hug each other hello and goodbye when either of you enter or leave the house, etc. The only difference between friendships and the connection you share with your partner is the intimacy. Both your partner and best friends will likely hear the most intimate details of your life, and you will likely create more space on your calendar for them than anyone else. But only your partner gets to see and feel you in an intimate way. This is an important distinction. If your partnership is feeling more like a friendship, you may need to consciously create moments of intimate touching to revive the physical connection you two share. To be continued. You just listened to part one of the post titled Nine Things All Healthy Couples Do by Angel Chernoff of markandangel.com Girl, real talk. This whole, it's a new year, time to reinvent myself trash is not the vibe for 2024. You can find someone who loves you for you, as you are. You don't need to read a stack of self-help books, only eat sad salads, or like start meditating at 5 a.m. to be ready for dating. So yeah, my advice is to download Bumble and find someone who embraces you the way you are right now. Let me know how it goes. Now, there's a lot of talk about New Year's resolutions right now, and most of them revolve around either a healthier lifestyle or freeing up some time for ourselves. Why not both? Get started on your resolutions with Factor, so you're ready for the new year. Factor's ready-to-eat meal delivery takes the stress out of meal planning and sets you up for success in the new year. Skip the grocery stores, prep work, and cooking fatigue. Instead, get chef-crafted, dietitian approved meals delivered right to your door. With over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons, you'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolutions. And what I really like is that when things get hectic, Factor is flexible. Change your order up every week with plans from 4 to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule your deliveries anytime. So head to factormeals.com slash optimal50, that's optimal50, and use code optimal50 to get 50% off. That's code optimal50 at factormeals.com slash optimal50 to get 50% off. And thanks so much to Angel for a great start. Now, while nurturing a relationship through daily actions and shared experiences is vital, as she has well illustrated, it's equally important to focus on individual self-growth and autonomy, too. We really can't forget that. A healthy relationship not only involves mutual effort and sacrifice, but it also involves respect and encouragement towards each partner's personal development. So in this perspective, love is not just about constant presence and gestures towards each other, but also about supporting each other's individual journeys. This includes encouraging personal interests and goals, space for personal growth, like, you know, proper alone time, and celebrating individual successes and being supportive in failures. So again, recognizing that these individual experiences, though separate, enrich the shared life of the couple. This focus, this dual focus on shared love and individual development is really essential for a lasting and meaningful partnership, and it can't be overstated. So, more to come tomorrow, my friends. Let's wrap up now and look forward to that. Thank you so much for being here for part one. I hope it has left you inspired, and part two is sure to do the same. So I'll see you tomorrow in episode 2034 for that one, where your optimal life awaits.